Welcome back YouTube, it's Robert Hall, and in today's video, we're gonna dive into when I choose to use the Godox 8600 Pro. The most frequent question that I'm asked between all social media platforms is whether I would choose this light or that light, or which light would I choose to use out of all the Godox lights that I own. So I thought rather than answer that question over and over again, I would just make a series that highlights when I prefer to use each light. So the first and probably most obvious reason that I choose to use the 8600 Pro is when I know I'm gonna be working in bright conditions for extended periods of time. There's just no better light that you can use from Godox when you're doing battle with the sun. And there's really three advantages of the 8600 Pro that justify that. One is it's the most powerful portable option that you can get from Godox. This means I know I can balance it with outdoor conditions no matter how bright my environment is. And this remains true even when I want to use high speed sync, which is more taxing on your flash. This power also gives me flexibility when it comes to the distance I want between my subject and light source. Yes, smaller lights like the 8200 and 8360 version 2 are perfectly capable of being used in bright outdoor conditions but you'll be limited to using them in a closer distance to your subject, meaning that you're gonna be a little restricted in terms of what you can do for composition, unless you wanna spend a lot of time cloning out softboxes out of your images. But the 8600 Pro has enough power that I know I can back it off, I can use bigger modifiers, I can create more distance between my subject and my light source, which opens up a lot of doors creatively. The next reason I choose to use the 8600 Pro is speed. The 8600 Pro is definitely in a class of its own when it comes to recycle speed, it beats out all the other Godox lights, it beats out tons of other brands of lighting, it is just a speed freak. Even at full power, it recycles in under one second, and that gets faster as you drop the power. This ensures that even when I'm firing in quick succession, I know that my flash is going to go off every time, properly illuminating my subject so that I don't have any botched exposures. On the 8600 Pro, you can fire off 100 full power flashes or 50 full power high speed sync flashes in a row before you get into the thermal production. This last part, I didn't expect it to be such a benefit to my work, but it really has been. And that is the color stable mode on the 8600 Pro. It's so nice as I change power outputs and shoot for extended periods to not have shifts in color that you can experience with other lights. Sure, you can modify color in post, but by reducing the variance shot to shot, you can have a tighter workflow and decrease post-production time, which is really important to me because I do such a high volume of photography. So there's my primary reasons for choosing to use the Godox 8600 Pro. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future lighting discussions. Until next time, keep on shooting YouTube.